welcome to pre-math in this video we have got uh, this uh, green square a b c d fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the center of this quarter circle is uh, o and the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle uh, is uh, 15 units and likewise uh, over here uh, 15 units as well and this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see that uh, this uh, CD is the chord uh, on this uh, quarter circle and this center O. Oh, and here in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular from this center O on this uh, chord uh, CD. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects uh, the chord. And here we can see that uh, this line is our radius. So therefore, it is going to bisect uh, this uh, chord CD into two equal uh, parts and likewise uh, over here as well so therefore we can see that this uh, 90 degree angle is being divided into two equal parts this side uh, is going to be 45 degrees and this uh, angle is uh, 45 uh, degrees as well so these are two angles and let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle we know this is 45 degree angle and this is a 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle turns out to be 45 degrees since the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. And likewise uh, this angle go is going to be 45 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, blue line is our axis of uh, symmetry. In other words uh, these uh, sides uh, are uh, symmetric so therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, OA is going to be equal to this segment OB and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, green uh, square since all its side lengths are uh, equal if I call this side length uh, X this side length is going to be X uh, X uh, and X uh, across the board and moreover all uh, these uh, angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees and in this next step uh, I have drawn this uh, diagonal BD by connecting uh, these points uh, B and D and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BCD and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this longest leg as our side C I'm gonna call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, x and b is x uh, as well. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, x square equal to c square. So therefore uh, c square turns out to be 2 times uh, x uh, square. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a uh, square root uh, on both uh, sides and here we can see that c turns out to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore we can see that our this uh, bd diagonal length uh, turns out to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this is a 90 degree angle and this uh, diagonal uh, cuts the angle into two equal parts this side uh, angle is 45 degrees and this uh, angle is uh, 45 degrees uh, as well so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees and in this next step uh, i have connected uh, this uh, center o with this uh, point D and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, OBD and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle OBD and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, C I'm going to call this uh, side length uh, lowercase a 
and this uh, lower case b and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, ob and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, od is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle we know the radius is 15 so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, 15 as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a square we don't know plus b in our case is uh, x times square root of 2 whole square and c is 15 so this is going to become 15 square let's go ahead and simplify a square plus uh, this is going to become 2 times x square equals to 225 now let's go ahead and move this uh, 2x square on the right hand side so therefore a square is going to be equal to 225 minus uh, 2x uh, square now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our a value turns out to be 225 minus uh, 2x square so therefore our this uh, ob length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 225 minus uh, 2 x square and we can see that this uh, o b length uh, is equal to this length uh, o a so therefore our this uh, o a length uh, is going to be 225 minus uh, 2 x square as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a o b and now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem once again on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. Let me call uh, this longest leg as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our uh, case is uh, square root of 225 minus uh, 2x square and then a uh, whole uh, square. Plus uh, likewise uh, b is uh, square root of uh, 225 minus uh, 2 x square whole uh, square equal to c in our case is x so this become x uh, square and now here we can see square and square root undo each other so we got 225 minus uh, 2 x uh, square plus uh, likewise this square and square root is gone so we got 225 minus uh, 2 x square equal to x uh, square now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so we are going to get uh, 450 minus uh, 4x uh, square equal to x uh, square and now let's go ahead and add uh, 4x square on both sides this is gone so therefore uh, 5x uh, square turns out to be 450 and now let's divide 5 on both sides this 5 and 5 is gone so therefore our x square value turns out to be 90 this is our x square value and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s uh, square where s represents the side length uh, of the square and in our case the side length uh, of this uh, green uh, square is uh, x so therefore the area of this uh, green shaded square a b c d is going to be x uh, square and we already figured out our x square value which is uh, 90 so i'm going to substitute this value over here so therefore the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 90 square units so thus the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 90 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye